The first thing you notice when you walk into La Vaca Birria is not the crowd of people or the colorful items on the wall. It's the smell of the food. When you walk in here, does it always smell this amazing? Yes, either like birria or charcoal. For the last two years, Ricardo Lopez has operated this spot built out of a former record store in the Mission. His vision has been to make the kind of food his aunts, uncles, and mother used to make, but kicked up a notch. The only problem is the price of nearly everything he uses to make his food has gone up, like onions, for example. Before COVID, they were like $9 a sack at Restaurant Depot. I used to pick them up. During COVID and after, it was $40. Right now, it's $80. And this is the signature burrito here. Nearly every ingredient that goes into it has doubled in cost, and that's the reason why the owner says so is its price. In fact, the latest consumer price index shows prices for food, gas, and housing all rose last month nationwide. To be fair, Lopez has also made a conscious decision to buy premium beef to make his birria, which is Mexican marinated beef, and he chooses not to buy any prepared foods from suppliers. Everything is made from scratch, with the exception of the tortillas, which he gets from a local shop. And all that effort is also reflected in the prices. The food, you know, you make in your pueblo back, you know, in Mexico, is very labor intensive. And the only way you get that here is at these fine dining restaurants, doing everything from scratch. Judging from the lunch rush we saw, his decision not to skimp on ingredients or cut staff seems to be paying off. The customers we talked with say they've noticed the higher prices, but they're okay with that for now. If it just takes, you know, us as consumers to pay a little bit more to support people's dreams um, and get, you know, really good food back, then that's that's fine with me. And Lopez says he knows people can choose to go to the burrito shop a few doors down for a nine dollar option, which he says is good too. And for regulars who have decided to cut back, things are pricey, and they're like, I can't come all the time. Are you okay with that? I have to be. I have to be. You know, there's no. It's either that or keep the price the same. Don't make any money, and we close our doors at one point. In San Francisco, Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News. Flip.